Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the We All Juggle Knives channel. Welcome to my flashlight review of that light, the Through Night TN36 2017 edition. Now, this is the latest in that whole series. I've reviewed those other two in years gone by. First, we had the TN36, which was 6,800 lumens. And then we had the TN36UT, which was 7,300 lumens. And now we have just the 2017 model, which is 10,000 lumens. Here are the stats on the light. Okay, so you see it has a turbo mode, firefly mode, and then in between those two, you just have variable brightness from 70 to 7,000 lumens. The maximum distance... 319 meters. You can also see the run times. This is a relatively compact, super bright floodlight. It's what they call the soda can configuration. It has three emitters, and you can see the orange peel reflectors. Now, this comes with this belt holster you see here. It's got the uh, Velcro, and it also comes with the lanyard and some spare O rings. Now the light is operated by this side switch. If you long press this from off, you'll get the firefly mode. Hold on. That's the firefly mode. Now it's off. Now to just turn it on, you just full press this. It will come on in whatever brightness level you turned it off in from between 70 to 7000. To vary the brightness level, you just hold this down. And you see it decreasing. It will blink when it gets to the lowest. Hold it down to increase it again, and it, again it will blink when it gets to the, uh, the high end. So that is 7000. Now if you want turbo mode, you just double tap this. Now that is the 10,000, and I can feel the heat coming off this thing. Now from there, you can double tap again to get the strobe. Strobe warning. And now for the batteries. To get at the batteries, you just unscrew the body of the light from the head of the light, like so, and it has a little, has a little self-contained battery magazine with four 18650 batteries. These come with the light. They are IMR, which is lithium manganese batteries. In addition to those four batteries, it also comes with that intelligent battery charger. The light itself does not have a built-in charger. Here is a close-up of the display of the intelligent charger. So you see it shows the progress, right? And it cycles through information. That is the voltage. All right, YouTube, let's demonstrate this light. I'm going to roll in some demo footage. You're going to see beam shots, both cross section and from the top, and then we'll do a little floodlight action at the creek and some other stuff, and then we'll be back for final thoughts on this light. Here is a top view beam shot of this through night flashlight. That is pretty impressive. I mean, this is quite the floodlight. Slowly decreasing. And now increasing. Let's do turbo. That is the turbo mode. That is as bright as it gets and uh, Wow, I mean, talk about, talk about a wall of light. That's pretty crazy. Okay, big warning, we're gonna demonstrate the strobe. You've been warned, strobe coming. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm out here on a road with no lights, testing out this through night. Let's go to full power. 
What's up YouTube? We're at the sports field. Let's see what this can see. And there you see the soccer goal right there. That's the soccer goal. And here we are overlooking Frog Creek with this through night flashlight and wow, I mean this thing is just super bright. It's just bringing the daytime to the nighttime, so to speak, I mean. Signaling to passing UFOs, of course. Wow, you can see there's a lot of humidity down there, but it's cutting through. I mean, you would think it's daylight. I'm way up here on the bank, by the way. I'm on the bank of the creek. Pretty impressive, I must say. Pretty awesome. All right, YouTube, we are back. So final conclusions on this light. The light is extremely bright and I think you saw from the top view beam pattern shots how wide the flood effect is. This will give you a wall of light. Uh, if you need to light up like a wide area, like the entire side of a warehouse, like let's say you work security, the entire side of a huge building, this thing would be perfect for that. Now, the negative to that is that the beam is not very focused, okay? So if you're looking for something to put like a spotlight on a man-sized target at a thousand meters, that's not this type of light, okay? So this is a floodlight, not a thrower, but as a floodlight, it is awesome. Now, as far as the recharging capability, they just give you a separate charger rather than have the recharging built into the body of the light itself. I like that because you can use the charger for other batteries for all your other lights. And if they included the recharging in the light itself, the light would just be a bit more complicated and the light would need a charging port, which is always just another weak point or potential weak point for crap or water to get into your light. One of the best things about this light is the interface and the mode cycle. It's extremely intuitive. It's extremely easy to figure out, especially if you've had a lot of lights before, and it's extremely easy to remember. Basically, if you're dealing with a single switch light, there's only a few things you can do to a switch. You can tap it once, you can half press it, some switches, you can long press it, or you can double tap it. So all they've done is matched up the most obvious functions with those different things you can do to the switch. Now there's no half press on this particular switch, but all the other ones, they just put the most common sense, they match the most common sense output with each possible input. You know, let's compare this to one of its main uh, competitors, this Olight X7R, which these are about the same price if you get like the kits. These are about the same price right now on Amazon. Now, as far as compactness, they're pretty much tied. They're about the same size. The Olight is 2000 lumens brighter than the through night. However, if you compare the interface and the mode cycles, the controls on the through night are just so much easier and less overly complicated. So yeah, the Olight wins in terms of it's a bit brighter, but I definitely have to say I prefer the controls on the through night. In general, this light is extremely an extremely strong competitor in its category of floodlights. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. I will include some Amazon links if you want to pick this up. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.